What is going on everybody and welcome to another edition of Madden Sunday School. In this one I want to talk about how to contain a mobile quarterbacks uh, when playing online and multiple ways in which uh, you can do this. Now Madden 18 it's very important to know how to do this because mobile quarterbacks have definitely made a comeback this year. If you're playing Mutt you're definitely seeing more Cam Newton, Russell Wilson, Derek Carr, Tyrod Taylor, guys like that than you are pocket passers and it's important to know not only how to contain them but have multiple ways of doing so uh, because if you only have one way then your opponent could definitely catch on to your tendencies and exploit that so I'm gonna try and show you a few different ways of how you can try to contain a uh, mobile quarterbacks in Madden 18 so let's get right into it I'm on offense here with the Seattle Seahawks who have Russell Wilson who's probably uh, one of the best mobile quarterbacks in the game so simple flood concept on the right and you see the defensive concept uh, right off the bat going with a cornerback blitz from this nickel formation something to note is you want to try and send the corner blitz uh, from the side of your opponent quarterbacks throwing arm so you want to throw basically if he's a right-handed quarterback you want to throw him a blitz coming off the right edge and vice versa if he happens to be a left-handed I don't think there are any left-handed QBs who are relevant in the game right now so basically you're gonna want to be sending these corner blitzes off the right side and uh, the reason it's good these wide corner blitzes most of the time they don't even get picked up by the O-line so you're gonna get pressure in there even if they don't roll out but if they do roll out uh, then you're they're gonna be running right into the blitz and uh, that's exactly what you want then they're either probably gonna have to throw the ball away uh, make a rushed read or try and avoid the rusher uh, which can definitely end up in a sack fumble a lot of the time. So and that's going to be uh, one of the ways you can look uh, to combat this. Now, uh, you can do it out of basically any formation. doesn't have to be nickel or anything. But I think this is one of the first ways you can try to do it, especially if your opponent's just kind of rolling out all willy-nilly. As you see right here, try to roll out, and uh, the corner is going to light you up. So they definitely are going to have to adjust, either start rolling out to the opposite side, or uh, they're going to have to step up in the pocket right here try to roll out again cornerback actually got picked up but you saw the containment it's still provided on that outside the corner got picked up but was able to shed the block right here once again corner coming in so that's gonna be uh, the first method I think that you can kinda look to now second method say you don't wanna go ahead and send a corner blitz your second method is gonna be uh, to QB contain as you can see right there uh, you see the containment coming off the defensive ends and what that's going to do is basically it's going to have them playing very wide on the outside. Now, uh, the counter to this for your opponent is going to be to step up in the pocket and either make a read or try to scramble up the middle of the field rather than rolling out. Uh, but this is also a very effective uh, tactic against people who roll out basically every play. It's going to let those defensive ends get out nice and wide, and then they're going to look to disengage uh, whenever your opponent's quarterback tries to get outside of that pocket. So that's what you're going to see uh, right here coming out from the uh, defensive containment. If you don't know how to do this, you press left trigger. You hold down left trigger on the defensive side of the ball, and you can see uh, right there in uh, the bottom left corner, you see the RB call out for uh, the QB contain. So it's going to be RB on Xbox and I'm assuming R1 on PS4 so that's how you're gonna get uh, the containment assignment on the field so let's go ahead and roll it and show you guys just kinda how uh, the containment looks gonna go with the same concept and you see how the defensive ends get out very wide right here so uh, your opponents gonna have a lot of room to kinda step up in the pocket or you can try and scramble out to either side like I did right here with Russell Wilson but you can still see even if you step up and try and scramble out these defensive ends still gonna do a pretty good job of disengaging and trying to make a trail play now obviously Russell Wilson very quick probably faster than most defensive ends so he's gonna still find some success in this scenario sometimes but it'll be a good way to kinda dissuade your opponent right there and uh, the defensive end did end up catching up although I probably could have played that a little better as the quarterback and taken a more vertical route but that's kind of what you're going to be looking for. If, if your opponent is, you know, scrambling out, rolling out, uh, basically without even thinking about it, that's kind of what you're going to look at right there is that defensive end coming out super wide, disengaging, and trying to make a play on the quarterback. So that's a method uh, that I would say it it's 
a decent method. It's a good method to combine with other methods, I would say. So I'd say this is kind of a supplemental method to like the cornerback blitz or this next method that I'm about to show you guys, which is uh, the quarterback spy. So you see uh, the defensive end on the left side of the field. Put him in a QB spy. If you don't know how to do that, you go scroll over to him, press A or X on PS4, and then you're going to flick the right analog stick to the left, and that's going to put him on a quarterback spy. So now what a quarterback spy does is he's going to follow the QB around the field no matter where he goes. He's not going to pass rush. He's not really going to be playing zone. He's just going to be staring at the quarterback and basically staying right across from him the entire time. So uh, that's a very effective way to kind of contain him. Now, a way uh, that not a lot of people know that they can do is they can send the spy. So notice how uh, Cam Jordan right there started running at Russell Wilson as soon as he went out of the pocket. Now, that's not the normal behavior. A quarterback spy will normally uh, just stand there and you know be passive. You have to tell him to run after the quarterback. Now, the way you do that, is by clicking the right analog stick in. So something you want to do is if you have a spy on the field, you want to wait basically until Russell Wilson or the quarterback gets outside of the tackle box. So if you send the spy right now, the spy is going to come down and he's going to get picked up by the right tackle. And then Wilson's going to have nobody, since your spy is now engaged with an offensive lineman, he's going to have nobody containing him. He's going to come out and probably scramble, pick up some yards. So what you're going to want to do is wait for Wilson uh, to to get contained outside of the tackle box, whether it be you know through a backside pass rush, he's got a scroll, he's got to roll out, or if your opponent's just been rolling out in general, as soon as he gets outside of the tackle box, uh, that's when you want to send the spy at him, and it's going to put a clock on the quarterback. It's going to say, okay, either you have to find an open receiver or throw the ball away, basically within the next second or two, or else this defender is going to end up getting a sack. So that's what you're going to see right here. Right here is about the time when you would want to send the spy. So as you see, the spy's angle changes. He's now uh, no longer just kind of standing passively. He's coming down at a pretty hard angle on Russell Wilson. He's got the backside pressure as well. And that's what a lot of people will try and do. Either they'll throw the ball away or they'll make a rushed read. And that's a good way to get interceptions on people who, you know, are trying to scramble out and, you know, panic because they see a guy running at them. So right here, once again, going to scramble out, get outside of that containment. Now right here is a good example. You'd want to send the spy about right now. So if you send him, he's going to come straight down. You see there's no O lineman in the way anymore. That's why I said you want to get outside of the tackle box. He's going to come down and make Russell Wilson either have to throw the ball or eat a sack. So that is the third and final way I think that uh, you can look to combat these scrambling quarterbacks. It's going to be Corner blitzes, defensive end contains, and QB spies. Now, something to note is that QB spies, uh, the mechanic by clicking the right stick in and sending the spy, it's not only for QB spies. So if you don't want to have a spy on the field, if you don't want to sacrifice that pass rush uh, to put a spy on the field, you still want that four-man pass rush, three-man pass rush, whatever it is, uh, you can still send the closest defender on the field at the quarterback uh, the, the closest defender in proximity to the quarterback, you can send him at the QB in the middle of the play, regardless of whether he's a spy, whether he's a zone, doesn't matter who it is. It could be somebody who's, you know, manned up on a receiver that's in the vicinity. Uh, they'll rush down at the quarterback if you click in the right stick. When it's a QB spy, the spy will always be the closest guy to the quarterback. So that's why the spy is always the one that gets sent. But right here, what you're going to see, no spy on the field. So you see the four-man pass rush, cover two, set up on defense. And what you're going to see right here is whenever I click in the right stick, the closest defender is going to get sent. And in this case, the closest defender is this quarterback. So, or this corner rather. So this corner is going to come and blitz the QB as soon as I click the right stick in. Right there, you see he, he comes in, he starts crashing. And with a combination of the corner coming in and a defensive end getting a block shed, uh, Russell Wilson's pretty much gets sandwiched and he's got to make a read really quickly or else he's going to get sacked just like that. So that's another method to keep in mind is that if you don't want to have a QB spy on the field, you can still get the same reaction from your defensive players with that right stick click in to send the closest defender at the quarterback. So that's a great way. And that's a way, you know, a lot of people don't know. A lot of beginners don't know about that feature in Madden. 
and they get eaten alive by scrambling quarterbacks because they simply don't know the features. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Uh, just to kind of recap, the three ways I think are corner blitzes from the side of the throwing arm of the quarterback. So majority of the time going to be from the right side. Uh, defensive end contains to try and make the quarterback step up in the pocket and make a read. And then a third, a quarterback spy. So quarterback spy is probably going to be your best bet, uh, the most you know, consistent way of stopping a scrambling quarterback, uh, but it sacrifices your pass rush. So if you're okay with that trade-off, then by all means go for it. But if not, uh, you can still get the same reaction with that right stick click in by sending the closest defender uh, to in the proximity of the quarterback. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely comment. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know uh, what I can do better for future videos, guys. And thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take it easy.